the namesake of our city, Sam Houston, and of course the namesake of that school up there in Huntsville, Texas. The Bearcats, as our coverage continues with Raven Justice of 13 women's basketball programs, just one new head coach on the women's side. She inherits a lot of talent in terms of Jennifer Ramos, Lydia Baxter, Kira McKinney, all familiar names coming back this year, and I know she is excited about a brand new era of basketball over there at Johnson Coliseum. Lincoln Rose, along with the first-year head coach, Raven Justice, and third year overall now as a head coach. Great success at Prairie View A&M. Puts you on the radar for this opportunity. And what were the first couple things on the checklist for you when you took this job? The first couple of things were making sure that I got a great relationship with the returners. I think that's important to make sure that your team know who you are and you know who your team is. So that was the first thing. And second thing is just getting to know the institution a little bit better. Well, the community of Houston certainly knows you well. You've spent <laughs> a lot of time in the area, an assistant coach at Houston, a little stint at HBU, at Prairie View a head coach, and now, of course, just north up there in uh, Sam Houston State. How has that helped with making connections to high school coaches and recruiting? Um, I think you're right. I, I love Texas, and um, I'm, I'm definitely a Southern girl. So I've been in Texas for 14 years, I'm starting at Grayson Community College. So, you know, my, my stint has been throughout the, the Texas area, but it has given me a great rapport with high school coaches um, within Texas all over. When you looked at what you had coming back from last year's team, I have to imagine Jennifer Ramos caught your eye. Absolutely. Jen is extremely a hard worker. Um, she's already done um, as much as we have uh, liked her to do in the preseason. And she's, she has a great resume, so I'm excited about having her this year. And who are some of the players that part of this influx uh, to try to strengthen the roster from top to bottom? Um, Lydia Baxter, um, she's a senior, but I think her work ethic, work ethic has gotten so much better since we've been there. Kier McKinney, she's also someone we're looking forward to this year. And a newcomer, um, Jalen Walker, coming in from McLennan Junior College. Yeah, and Walker averaging almost 17 points per ball game at the JUCO ranks. As uh, you talked about some transfers, you also have coming in Courtney Cook, Alicia Haynes. Uh, in terms of immediate impact, I, I have to imagine playing time was a big selling factor for some of these players. Absolutely. Um, I think Lachey Haynes, is, she's a fifth year. She's someone that knows my system already. So having that experience and having that um, leadership on the floor is going to be huge for us, as well as Kier McKinney. You know, I think she has a lot of playing time up under her belt as well. So your first ever schedule as head coach of Sam Houston State. It's going to include trips to Baton Rouge, Wichita, Kansas, the Thanksgiving Classic over at Southern Miss, and you'll get to host Oral Roberts in a big matchup at home. You'll also make a trek up to Big 12 country to TCU. Uh, what stands out to you early on as you try to place your stamp on this program? We have a tough schedule. <laughs> That's early on. No, we're excited about the schedule. I think that you want to be challenged early to know, you know, where you are. Um, but the biggest thing is just being competitive. You know, I think that that schedule gives us an opportunity to be competitive and grow as a team. Well, in her first stint as a head coach, great success at Prairie View A&M in such a short amount of time. I know they're looking forward to quick results in Huntsville as well.